I actually started sailing snipes in 1984. I went down to Cowan Lake and knew I wanted to get a snipe already because I had some friends that had gotten them and jumped in and crewed for them. And then about two weeks later got my own snipe. Basically was looking for a boat that I didn't need to sail every day to be good at and uh, that I could be a weekend warrior and hold down a full-time job and, and enjoy good competitive racing. And the snipe turned out to be that boat. It sort of gets under your skin and into your blood and I uh, just really enjoy the boat. It's, it's challenging at, at all different levels. It's, uh, if you just want to be a weekend warrior and enjoy weekend racing with the family and, and kids and, uh, and your friends, uh, there's plenty of regattas at local levels. If you want to go a little higher than that, there are great national championships and North American championships. And uh, if you get fortunate enough and can qualify for the Worlds and the Westerns, those are, those are great events as well. So it's just a, a complete package. Um, you know, right out of the gate, I sailed with, uh, with Patty Fisher, uh, who had been sailing the boats for a long time, and she crewed for me, and uh, she taught me a lot about how to set the, the sails up and how to set the rig up, and uh, I was just kind of a, of a dumb laser sailor that liked to hike hard and steer, and, and she got me pointed in the right direction. Um, there's just, it, it's almost too numerous to name. There's so many people that, you know, a lot of the sailmaker folks, uh, Greg Fisher has always been great. Um, back in the day, you know, guys like Craig Lewick and Mark Reynolds and, uh, um, you know, George Zabo sailing the boat. It's just, they're, they're just, that's what's great about the class is, is everybody is incredibly helpful. No one wants to, you know, hide information or not tell you the go fast tips. They're all trying to get everybody faster, so it's, it's better competition for them as well. It's, it's very unique. There are not a lot of other classes like that, and uh, it, it really is a, it's a camaraderie. A lot of times you feel like you're not really sailing against your competitors, you're sailing with your competitors, which is neat. Beyond the racing, it's, it really is, it's a family class. Uh, it's, uh, you, you know, you see a lot of uh, kids around uh, from the time that they're in diapers coming to regattas uh, to the time they get a little older and want to just start sailing with mom and dad. Um, and it's just a great atmosphere. And um, it's, I don't, again, I don't see that in a lot of other classes. I've been doing this for 25 years, so it's obvious I'm pretty passionate about it, as is everybody else who's been doing it for as long. And I think my kids see that, and they want to do it, and they're, they want to do it with me. Um, and uh, I love having them out there. And uh, I've had both of them sailing with me off and on for probably, oh gosh, six or seven years now. And they're, they're both nine and 11 years old. And, uh, and um, so it's, it's, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a goal, but it was just, you always want to share your passion with your children and to be able to do that now is just phenomenal. This will be our third junior seniors together. Um, he's 11 now. He sailed his first one when he was eight. Um, and back then I literally had to do everything on the boat. Uh, he was eight years old. He was just learning to steer. He did a great job. Uh, and he's just gotten better and better each year. Um, but he's still, you know, he's still 11 years old and hasn't been doing it for 10 years. So. I sort of feel like I've got to be general manager of everything that's going on out there. And um, I just want to make sure that no matter what happens, we have a good experience. So, um, you know, if it starts blowing 25 and we're not having a good time, we'll come in. You know, we'll live to fight another day. <laughs> the core values are, um, you know, honesty and fair play. Um, I can't tell you the number of North Americans or nationals that I've been to where there hasn't been a protest filed. Uh, the competitors figure out a way to get it done on the water um, and uh, even when there's a disagreement uh, it gets figured out and there's no hard feelings. Augie's always trying to push and go faster and go forward but he doesn't really attack you on the race course. He, he really sails with you. Um, I could probably count on one, on one hand the number of times that Augie has tacked on the in any kind of a major event. Uh, and you get into a lot of other types of classes and they're all about tacking on the other guy and pushing, pushing the guy back. And, and uh, Augie is, is very in tune with, you know, if everyone's going fast, let's, let's make it a tactical battle. And this class teaches you to be a better sailor. I mean, it really does. And uh, I get very frustrated when I see sort of young, what I'll call hotshot sailors, maybe they're all collegiate All-Americans. They get in the class and they sail one regatta and frankly, they get their butts kicked. And they're good sailors, but they just didn't figure it out right away. And it takes time. And a few of them decide to stick with it, and they get better and better and better. And I truly believe that if you want to be a better sailor, this is one of the key boats to sail. Um, I've been very fortunate to sail J-22s and Melges 24s and Lasers 
and had some great results in those other classes and I attribute that all to the snipe class because the snipe class you know, Snipe teaches you how to tune a boat, how to tune a rig, how to look at sail shape. Um, it's a hard chine boat, you know, you've got to sail it flat, that's important. Uh, you've got to trim the sails properly, and that is so applicable to other boats. And it just, I, I said anybody who wants to be a better sailor, they need to sail a Snipe.